This is the chapter on sleep and its effect on performance, featuring Dr. Chris Winter, medical director at the Martha Jefferson Hospital Sleep Medicine Center. Let's talk now about sleep and how it affects players at the 10 and under level and how your understanding of sleep can make you a more effective coach. By the age of 10, most children are rapidly approaching a more adult sleeping pattern. Children at this age are starting to experience an escalation in school expectations, extracurricular activities, and family obligations. It is important for kids at this age group to begin to prioritize sleep, even in the midst of their other activities and pastimes that might seem more appealing. Most kids at this age are not new to hockey, and simultaneously the sport is beginning to escalate in its competitiveness. Motivations for participation in hockey will vary tremendously between participants and include parental pressure, social gathering, and genuine enthusiasm, plus or minus genuine talent. This is an excellent time for coaches to begin a dialogue with their players about the importance of healthy sleep. At this age, particularly for the players who are more serious about competition, it is important for coaches to make sleep important in the eyes of their young players. Comments at the end of a practice to the effect of, get some good sleep this week so you're ready for our game this weekend, go a long way to reinforce in the minds of players that sleep is an integral part of preparing for any athletic endeavor. Communication with parents and players about their sleep choices are essential. Coaches should be cognizant of the fact that different children may require different amounts of sleep. For most children in this age group, 9 to 11 hours of sleep is ideal. Keep in mind that this range does not apply to every child. Some individuals may need more than 11 hours, while others may need less than 9. For some children who need less sleep than average to feel their best, it may create a conflict between player and parent as the parent pushes the child to sleep more than what the player may be capable of achieving. Bedtimes become stressful as the parent becomes more frustrated about the child's failure to sleep on time while the player becomes anxious about his or her inability to fall asleep. Soon, this player may assume the label of bad sleeper or insomniac. As the pressure to sleep mounts, sleep initiation inevitably fails, causing more unhealthy views and actions, for instance, the use of sleeping aids, to help with the problem. Making sure sleep expectations are realistic can help players avoid numerous sleep problems down the road. Creating a healthy sleeping environment is important. A child's room should be a comfortable, quiet place in which to rest. Furthermore, it should be an inviting space that the child feels ownership of and a connection to. When appropriate, coaches are encouraged to inquire about their players' sleeping arrangements. Do they sleep alone or with siblings? Do they have their own space to sleep or are they sharing sleep in a common area? Are they still sleeping in their parents' bed? Often the source of sleepiness or poor athletic performance can be traced back to a dysfunctional sleep environment. It is recommended by most pediatricians that children sleep alone. Co-sleeping children have a higher percentage of sleep problems at night. Children should be encouraged to make their environment feel inviting. In this way, a well-placed hockey poster can go a long way to making a child feel more secure and sleep better. While snoring evaluation was the focus of the 8 and under module, it is nonetheless important for coaches to educate the parents about remaining vigilant for signs of airway obstruction in his or her players. Sleep apnea is a condition in which the airway collapses during the night, leading to frequent awakenings and dysfunctional sleep. The vast majority of individuals with sleep apnea snore. Snoring in this age group is unusual and should be evaluated, particularly if it is associated with signs of poor sleep at night. Sleepiness, poor concentration, mood disturbances, and declining school performance are all signs of potential sleep disruption. Left untreated, sleep apnea can have effects on player growth and development, as well as significant health consequences including cardiovascular effects. Sleep apnea can directly impact a player's success on the ice and may lead to decreased performance and player frustration. 
the assessment of whether or not a child snores can easily be included in the screening process of most youth leagues. I hope this information is helpful in understanding your player's sleep. It's now your job to continue this dialogue with your players, showing them that just because they're advancing in hockey to higher levels doesn't make sleep any less important to you and it shouldn't be any less important to them. That completes the video portion of this segment. Now let's move on to either your test or additional resources to reinforce and support what we've been talking about.